performance services was able to wrap around the three projects that we had and were able to put into budget what needed to happen in those three buildings. When we have Zimmer Biomet coming in and taking a look at our STEM lab and saying, wow, that looks just like our research and development labs. Um, you know, that, that's an exciting statement to hear because that means you did it right. As we looked at our facilities, the realization was our school facilities were not keeping up with our industry facilities. When we'd bring in our advisory councils, they would be talking about the, the labs that they had, they would be talking about the different atmospheres that, that we needed to be able to prepare these students for the next steps. And so as we looked at it, we, we needed to update our facilities. We needed to make sure that we truly are a pipeline for the future. One of the top priorities we had going into this project, because this is taxpayer dollars, and, and we owe it to our community to spend it wisely. And because we had one group, Performance Services, working with all three projects, I really feel like it was added value for the schools, but also for the community, as far as what this project was going to cost. We're a STEM school and we're certified by the state of Indiana. First thing when you walk through the door, they're wowed by the facility that we have. What we pretty much have done is taken two classrooms and just made it a two classroom size, but it's still just a classroom, oversized classroom. But when you walk into here, this is not the normal science lab. Having this space to me is, it provides almost kind of like a Swiss Army knife. And so the way that this space has been prepared is that it gives us opportunity to really be flexible with how we want to engineer it. The space now with the garage doors, we can move between rooms as needed. Resources, regardless of where they are, we have access to them much easier. And so the students see a lot more movement, they see a lot more freedom to be able to do the things that they know that they need to get accomplished. Edgewood Middle School was an open concept building. It was built about 1970. We did not even realize just what a poor learning environment we had. We have been transformed. As you walk around, it doesn't look like Edgewood anymore. We have got incredible new STEM space. We've got technology capabilities. We have got better flooring. We've got rooms that have doors. We have rooms that have more than one exit. Each teacher has collaboration areas. You walk into, there's a new fitness center. The floor in the gym was done. We weren't supposed to get all of that. And as things came together, performance services took us from small changes to increase safety to incredible changes that gave us the best facilities. When we look at our building projects, Lincoln Elementary was an outdated building. Uh, that was a school that, that parents were transferring out of uh, because of the facilities. And so by being able to provide them a, a pride piece for their community, we've already seen that community grow up around it. I love all the opportunities it's giving us and I really think there's even more yet to come as far as learning to utilize all of our new spaces. By doing design build throughout the project we were able to add things that weren't originally planned and for me this room captures it all. This room originally started out to be a, a, a gymnasium, it was converted into a cafeteria, now we reconverted into a new modern cafeteria in a STEM school. We reached all of our goals inside that $40 million project, and then some. When you look at the upgrades that we were able to put in uh, before this project had ended, we received our value, we received everything that was promised, and we were able to go back and get upgrades.